there Akuma fans, Charlie with the Oscar Application staff. Today we're going to redo a video that I did oh, probably four or five years ago and I just went to send it to a customer today and my god the audio is horrible. So uh, now that we're a little more technologically advanced let's do it over again. Today we're talking about live tooling lathes and specifically if you look over here on my collision avoidance screen you notice I've got a holder let's index around so you can see it a little better I've got a double live Z holder like this this is awesome I mean these things are great they're not quite double the price of a regular live tooling holder but they do provide one station that can work in the left spindle or the right spindle and they don't even have to be the same kind of tool you can have an end mill on one side and a tap on the other for all I care but here's the problem if you look at this thing the arbor, the shaft that's going through connecting these two tools is a solid piece, which means when you input rotation into the tool, that arbor is going to go in the same direction. Obviously, it's not a split arbor that has the ability to go in two separate directions. No, they have to go in the same direction. Okay, if you're using two end mills, so what? Well, do you use an M13? on the left side of the tool so that it spins clockwise and an M14 on the other side to spin in the other direction. All right, it works. And as I love to tell all of my customers, there's no wrong way to do something if the result produced a good part. However, Akuma is a lot smarter than that. Akuma is trying to protect us from making a mistake when we go into live tooling drill cycles. G181, 182, 183. They are trying to prevent us from accidentally having the drill running backwards when we enter a drilling cycle. So if I were to say have an the strategy I just talked about, M13 on this side and M14 on this side, and over here's a drill. If I introduced an M14 and then I bring this drill over to my right spindle in order to start a cycle, and I said, hey, G183, XYZ, Q, R, the, the works, the machine would look down and say, well, I'm spinning the wrong way, and it would automatically override your M13 with an M14, I'm sorry, M14 with M13, and now your tool's running backwards. It thinks it's protecting you, but it's actually screwing you. So, what Akuma's done, if we go into our parameter screen right here, and I use my display change, for those of you who haven't heard Charlie's speech, these parameters can be masked out. So I always use the arrow right, touch the menu change, and make sure that all display is turned on. Otherwise, I may or may not see the um, parameter that Charlie told me to look for, which in this case is the user parameter, bunk milling spindle right here. On my machine configuration, it's number 46. Don't count on that because if you have fewer options than I, you, it'll be a lower number. Anyway, just look for MC user parameter milling spindle. And here we have a parameter specific for rotation direction reverse. And this is spindle specific. So let's bring my doom, 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 chingy the bobber over and you see I'm in spindle one right now and my tool position for this uh, this fancy tool is position number seven. So parameter tool number seven for spindle one should not be reversed. That one M13 really does produce an M13. But if I come over and switch over to spindle number two, now I have a whole different set of parameters for the second spindle and if I just touch the position number seven and apply a check mark right there. Now just so you can see what happened, I'm going to touch spindle one and the seven disappears. It's only on spindle number two. So that means now the machine is smart and if I, whoops, go to this. If I command M13, it'll look at that parameter page and say, this is a standard code, we're gonna do clockwise. However, if I'm in G141 
and I command M13, the machine looks at the parameter page and says, oh, hey, look at that. He's got a check mark right there, which means when he says M13, I'm going to respond in M14. So now my motor, the, the drive motor is running backwards, but the live tool is running forward. So I highly recommend every time you set up a live tool, pop over to your parameter page, check this number four rotation direction reverse, check both spindles, make sure that you have checked what you need and deselected what you don't need. And then Mr. Programmer's got life really easy. It's M13 for absolutely everything unless somebody invested in a left-handed end mill that's supposed to be on a router. Wow, my brain just exploded on that one. Let's not even go there. Check your parameter page. Hey, if there's anything else we can do for you, please reach out to your local Gossiker application staff. We're here to help you out, and we'll see you on the next one.